everybody. This is another candle. I'm going to talk about a little bit of something that uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people out there that don't like. i say a lot of my viewers will probably enjoy it just fine. Guys, I want to ask the question, why isn't sin sin anymore? Why is it that we live in a world where nowadays sin is looked at as, you know, oh, well, you're just, you know, you're just being human. You're just, you know, you're, you're doing what you want to do. Why is it looked at like that? You know, there was a time during the Great Revival in the United States where people were being told by pastors about their sins and there are many that would fall on their faces weeping because of the sin that they knew now that they had been told was in their lives and they would beg for God's forgiveness guys there are many people out there that would try to say that, you know, oh, well, you know, yeah, uh, you know, sin may be a sin, but, you know, you're just doing, you're just living your life. We'll just put it that way. Guys, sin is sin one way or the other. You know, in our, uh, in our government and the laws in our land now, there's a, a lot of ways that it seems like sin is not even bothered with anymore. That people don't care about sin anymore. They don't care about doing right or wrong. And it's pretty awful whenever you think about it how the conscience of our nation has been seared so badly. You know, they talk about young people going out and getting drunk, having wild parties, and having sex, and doing drugs, and people are like, oh, they're just young. Well, do you not think that maybe they wouldn't be doing these things if we actually taught them about sin, about what you're not supposed to do? See, guys, something that I don't think is really talked about often enough is the fact that if you sin in some way or another, whether it's you or someone else, someone is going to hurt for it. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. So you may not think you're doing a whole lot by, you know, going out and living your life the way you want to live it. Like I've heard a lot of people say about things like gay marriage. You know, well... You know, they're not hurting anybody and, you know, and then people will say, well, you know, it doesn't affect your life, so why do you care? Well, the reason why I care is because I don't want to see you if you are one of those people. I don't want to see you falling into sin and then later on in the afterlife, whenever we go to be with him, be with God in heaven... I don't want to see you going the other way, going to hell. Guys, whenever we as Christians talk about sin, we should be talking about it out of a means of compassion, not criticism. Whenever you criticize and you argue with someone over your point of view, you're just going to push them further away from what God wants for them. Whereas on the other hand, if you do it in a means of love, in a means of, you know, hey, I care for you and I don't want to see you in eternal damnation, then your words will change a bit. Sure, the message might be the same, do not sin, but the reasoning isn't so much you know, oh, because you're a bad person and because, you know, just whatever criticism you can say. Instead, it'll be, well, I don't want you to sin because I love you and I see how it's destroying your life. 
Guys, I, I personally have told people this before and they still get angry. They're still sitting there going off on you, telling you, well, who are you to tell me what to do? It's like, well, I'm a believer. I'm a follower of God. As for me personally, God places many words on my heart for many of the people that I'm around. And so for that matter, I am a type of messenger for God. Now, if you do this, if you speak to people about these things, then you are a messenger of God as well. We are supposed to be stewards of God's will on earth instead of Jesus, who is not physically here anymore. He dwells within all of us. So that gives you the right and the authority to be able to tell people, hey, you know, I see that you're doing this, and look, it, it either is or it's going to harm your life down the road. You've got to stop. Guys, we as Christians, we sin too. I know I make these videos, but I sin too. I am not a perfect human being, and none of us are. But that does not give you the excuse to go and do wrong. As Christians, while yes, we are covered in the blood of Jesus, and that and by that it means that even if we do sin, all we have to do is ask and we are forgiven, that does not give you the freedom to just go sin, to just do whatever you want. It doesn't work like that. There will be a repercussion for it in your life. There will be rewards in heaven that you don't get access to because you openly decided to live a life of sin. Now for the unbeliever, it's a little bit different. When you sin, yes, there's going to be some backlash for it. There's going to be a repercussion. But at the same time, you're not going to go to a good place. Because you have not accepted what Jesus Christ did for you. You have not accepted that remission from your sins that he offers freely. Guys, it's free. I personally, sometimes I don't understand how somebody can hear, you know, the remission of sin being absolutely free and still turning around and deciding, you know what? No, I don't want nothing to do with that. That is apostasy. That is you choosing, you knowing who God is, knowing what Jesus has done, and choosing not to believe it. It's a dangerous thing, guys. A lot of people don't think about this stuff. But just remember, if you have sin in your life, and there's a lot of them, there's a lot of sins that we can commit. Try to do better. I always remind myself and I try to remind other people that this is the way that I think. If you just imagine that Jesus is right there next to you, right there with you, do you think he would like what you're doing? Listen, I hope you all have a great day. I hope God blesses you today. I got to run into work real fast. See you later.